Okay, today I will be talk, talking about depression. Um, I chose this topic because I think it's probably very relatable to a lot of people, especially our age. Um, depression really affects all people, mainly from <laughs> the age of 17 and up. Um, it affects a lot of people. Um, the chances of being depressed um, as a kid are much less likely before you hit puberty, but after that, you're more likely to. Um, so, going into the symptoms of depression, um, I'll list a few of them. Um, just loneliness, sadness, anxiety, um, excessive crying, slow thinking, and social isolation. Um, the rest are on my slide. Um, you can read off of that. Um, there are a lot of things that can cause depression. Um, depressed people, um, they're developed differently than um, most people, anybody without depression is. Um, the chemistry of their brain is just, is um, different due to either a birth defect or trauma. Um, a lot of times if somebody is raped or if somebody is abused physically or verbally, um, car crashes, just things like that can cause depression. Um, it's fairly easy to become depressed um, with things like that. Um, a lot of pregnant women become depressed through hormonal change during the pregnancy. Um, sometimes they, they will um, develop depression and they will, it will stick with them for the rest of their lives after the pregnancy, but um, sometimes it does not. Um, it's also um, inherited by, from a relative. Um, uh, for example, my mother is depressed, so um, there's a chance that one day I may be depressed. Um, and if that's the case, there are um, lots of ways to help with depression, so it's not really um, going to be a pillar on me if, it, if I do develop that, because I know how to get the help for that, if that were ever to um, come around. Um, risks of depression, um, like I said, traumatic experiences, um, Low self-esteem if you're very dependent on yourself. Um, for example, if you were to, um, if you really don't rely on other people for things, like you don't really lean on anybody, your friends or anything, you will, you're more likely to become depressed if you go through something. Um, being, when you're depressed, you should not isolate yourself. You need to be around people and you need to talk about it. Um, you're self-dependent then most likely you will not do that and that is um, something that needs to be talked about more and needs to be um, helped with more. Um, if you're an alcoholic you can become depressed fairly easily if you abuse drugs or um, even if you're bipolar a lot of times um, you become very depressed. Um, also um, being a homosexual or if you are bisexual, you're more likely to become depressed because um, uh, because it is um, that's a, a disability in itself, and um, the rejection from society, previous rejection from society nowadays is more accepted. But um, a lot of gay people were depressed a while back before all that was accepted now. Um, how likely is it to become depressed? Um, about seven one. There's a seven one percent point one percent chance you will become depressed out of a hundred, and that is in adults. Um, one in nine million kids are depressed from ages three to seventeen. So. Um, if you're under the age of about 10, the chances are even lower. 
Um, but around the time of puberty is when, in that case, children would become depressed. Um, a lot of children don't understand that and end up taking their own lives from that. Um, uh, bullying will also cause that. They don't know why they're so upset, and then a bully will come along and press their buttons, and then that will push them off of the edge. Um, that needs to um, be helped in schools because a lot of people don't realize that people are depressed and say things, and it makes it worse. And that's a huge problem. Um, there are many ways to get help with depression. Um, the best way is to just surround yourself with other people, but um, if you're not really comfortable with that or don't have anybody close you can talk to, um, a therapist is great. Um, a lot of times they will not, depressed people will not go see a therapist because they are not social, they're very independent and stuff like that. So. Um, Therapist is probably the best way to go, therapist or a friend. But if not, if you do not want to do that and you're not comfortable doing that, then um, a pet. Um, taking care of others or another living creature will take your mind off of it. It'll give you something to love and they will love you back, like if you get a dog. Um, typically dogs and cats and stuff, not like hamsters because they don't really show too much affection. Um, talking to friends just, even if it's not about their problems, is a great way to deal with it because it'll take their mind off it and social interaction. It's really good for depression. Um, it can be really good for depression. Sometimes it's not good, but most of the time it is. Um, If you're depressed, you should also focus on your eating. Um, eating a lot of junk food and bad stuff like that will, um, it can cause you to feel bad about yourself and the things you eat. Eating healthier has been proven to um, help the way your mental health um, and sleeping is proven to help with that. Um, a lot of times they'll stay up very late and their sadness and they don't really get a lot of sleep and then becoming sleepy throughout the day causes very severe mood swings and um, that can cause the depression to become even worse. There was a point in my life where I had become depressed I didn't know why. Um, it, it took a lot to get out of that. Um, just finding new friends, going to church more. I changed my diet, that helped me um, become a happier person. Um, exercise also helps because that releases endorphins in the body and that will cause you to, um, it will take your mind off of it definitely. Um, I didn't know how to deal with it for a while, um, and it really it was bad for me, and uh, I needed to get help, and I didn't know how, so I finally found something that worked, and I didn't know at the time, but these things that I've been talking about, um, I did some of these things, and that kind of helped it, and to the point where I'm not sad anymore. Um, a lot of people don't realize that. If they would just realize things like this and educate themselves on depression, they would be happier with themselves and they wouldn't be so depressed all the time, unless it's more of a, um, a medical thing. Um, medication is also one way you can treat it. Um, I personally wouldn't recommend medication. Um, I know people who are on the medicine and made them even more depressed, even made them suicidal. Um, if you can, doing the things I spoke about so far are probably best to do, but as a last result, resort, you can use medicine. Depression is a major problem. Um, it needs to be spoken about more and it needs to be 
educated more in schools and in the workplace and people need to be more aware of the way they act and if these things were talked about more then there wouldn't be as much depression in the world but not all problems can be talked about all the time so that's it